Welcome to this video. In our previous video, we studied trigonometric ratios. Today, in this video, we will study trigonometric ratios of some specific angles. Raj has right angled triangle and Simran has equilateral triangle whose acute angles they have to find the trigonometric ratios of. So, can you tell how Raj and Simran will find them? Let us first learn about trigonometric ratios of 45 degree angles. Raj has a right angled triangle LMN where the value of the angle L is 45 degrees. The length A of the adjacent side LM is known to us. Find all trigonometric ratios of 45 degree angles. We need to measure all the sides of a triangle. Let's see. We know that the sum of the three angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. Therefore, the value of the remaining angle N of the triangle LMN will be 45 degrees. That is, the value of angle L and angle N are equal. Hence, we can say that the sides LM and MN are of equal length. That is, it is an isosceles triangle. So, tell, what will be the length of the side LN? Perfect! For this, here we use the Pythagoras theorem. Which gives the measure of side LN is a square root 2. In this triangle, the values of both angles L and N are 45 degrees. So, here we discuss the trigonometric ratios for angle L. In the triangle LMN, the side opposite to right angle is the hypotenuse LN. And the opposite side of the angle L is MN. And the adjacent side is LM. Let's talk about sin L. That is, sin 45 degrees. As we saw in the previous video, the sin value for an angle theta is equal to the ratio of the opposite side to the hypotenuse. That is, the value of sine 45 degrees will be equal to the ratio of the side opposite to angle L and the hypotenuse in the triangle LMN, where the length of the opposite side is A and the hypotenuse is A square root 2. On solving this, the value of sine 45 degrees is obtained as 1 upon square root 2. So, can you tell me what will be the value of cos 45 degrees? Absolutely right! For this, find the ratio of the adjacent side and hypotenuse of angle L. On solving this, the value of cos 45 degrees is also given as 1 upon square root 2. Note that the values of sin 45 degrees and cos 45 degrees are the same. That is, we can say that their inverse values of cosec and sec 45 degrees will also be the same. Similarly, if we talk about tan 45 degrees, then we know that tan theta is equal to sin theta upon cos theta. And the values of sin 45 degrees and 
cos 45 degree are the same whose ratio will give a value of tan 45 degrees is 1. Therefore, we can say that its inverse, that is, the value of cot 45 degrees will also be obtained as 1. Let us show trigonometric ratios of 45 degree angles in a table. Today in this video, we calculated trigonometric ratios of 45 degree angles. In the next video, we will see how Simran will find trigonometric ratios of 30 degrees and 60 degrees angles.